John, a uh, professional performance today, pretty dominant from the start. Yeah, very dominant performance, yeah, professional, yeah, but also free-flowing, you know, I think that, with the greatest respect, I know Jim's got a lot of injuries and so they've been shaping up this 5-4-1 and they get into a low block and it's very difficult to break down. However, you know, within the first opening couple of minutes we had a great chance, Callum, for me, should score and not long after it then, Roman has had a great opportunity to score as well, so two great opportunities. And then it became difficult to break them down because they're uh, very compact and very tight and it's uh, difficult for most teams in these situations to, to break down a, uh, you know, that Kenny 5-4-1 formation. So we had to be patient, we had to keep plugging away and you know again we get an opportunity, a great opportunity to remind them, you know, a second opportunity to, to score 1v1 one one with the goalkeeper and we didn't take them. Uh, but thankfully in a situation where uh, Peter Head were attacking, the ball lands with, with Nicky, and as earlier in the season, he finds a great ball into the channel this time for Romarin, who's got after it, got onto the ball and played into Aidan Nisbet, who finds Callum in the box, which was clever, and at least Callum with you know, an opportunity to score a, a kind of like one he's not going to miss. And thankfully we got that goal, because obviously getting to half-time, if it's 0-0, uh, you know, they they probably take a lot more belief from it, you know, and just getting that goal, you know, five minutes before half time, it's a kind of blow for, for them. And the start of the second half, two great opportunities again, two great big opportunities to put the game to bed, again, both for Callum and, and, and Juan. Two big, big opportunities, didn't, didn't take them. And uh, But thankfully, you know, we made substitutions, uh, and both Juan and Kai made a, 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 an instant impact. Uh, Kai putting the ball in for for one to score with a header, and then uh, Kai with his shot that comes off the bar and ricochets off the goalkeeper and goes in. And then you know I've been saying that we're going to get goals from all areas of the pitch, and thankfully Liam Henderson came up with a, a headed goal from a corner from a corner. So delighted that we scored four goals away from home. It was an entertaining game, you know. If you thanks very much to every Falkirk fan that came up here today. Uh, hopefully you know you're you're pleased with what you've seen. Uh, we go back down the road with, with the three points and a very, very convincing win, a very good good performance, and then we move on. How important was the second goal today, John? The one that, from that point, I thought we, we never really looked back? No, I mean, we, we never looked like losing a goal, but the second goal gives us that cushion, you know, even at 1-0, a little bit of slackness if it crept in, a little mistake can, can cost you a goal, and then you're, you're back level terms. But that never materialised, and the second goal was important to give us that two-goal cushion, and you've seen thereafter that it kind of like knocked the stuff in out of Peterhead and we were even more flowing uh, and I think if we were doing that more often to teams you would see that kind of end that result appearing more often where teams find that they're, they're, they're not going to go and score three goals against us they're not going to get back in the game and their heads kind of go down and then you, you you take over and I think that's what happened you know uh, so yeah the second goal was important uh, and thankfully this, the third goal came very quickly behind it so yeah Delighted in the squad. Everyone's playing their part in the squad with the two substitutions, and, and obviously we ended up making five substitutions, and it got some game time for for, for you know Sean came on at left back, Brad came on at right back, Ola in in midfield, uh, along with obviously we had made one and Kai before that. So it's a, it, we're using the squad, and everyone's vying for a position and trying to push each other, and that's good. Just what I was going to ask you in terms of you know it, when the the pressure was off when you're three four nil up you have the chance to bring guys on get them some minutes how important is that because you've got a few who are just coming back from injury and from a manager's point of view how nice is it for pretty much the first time this season to to almost have a full squad to choose from yeah no no it's, that's that's very pleasing and it's great and I think the squad's very strong hopefully we can continue like that hopefully we don't have too many injuries uh, ahead uh, unfortunately we're going to have one suspended unfortunately. Uh, so we won't have him for next week, but uh, the squad is looking very healthy and good competition, uh, and that's important. It really is important, you know. I believe we've got a really good squad here, and we're going from strength to strength. And just finally, John, uh, next week it's Montrose away. Your thoughts on that one? Yeah, I've watched Montrose in midweek against Airdrie, and they did it extremely well. They won the game 4-2. They've came back from being behind today to win 3-1. Going up to Montrose has always been difficult for, for any team going there. But, you know, we were going there in uh, good forum, really good forum. We played on the first game of the season, 0-0. Could have went either way. I think we're in a better place now than we were then. Uh, look forward to it.
Well, John, congratulations on the win today, and as always, thanks for your time. Thank you.